Sheikh, I really want to ignore such questions because I know we are no one to question Allah's action. But uh, this is something that is going through my mind in the recent past. Sheikh, my question is, why does Allah praise himself so many times in the Quran and instruct his creation to praise him even though he has no need of them? Because he is the only worthy of being praised Azza wa Jal. Praising Allah Azza wa Jal is done by every single creation of his willingly and unwillingly. Only the humans and the jinn choose to do so or not to do so. Allah doesn't need them. Allah doesn't need you. Allah doesn't, subhanahu wa ta'ala, depend on anything in this universe. He is independent. And he's the only one who is worthy of being praised, glorified, and complimented and he loves to be praised because this is part of his lordship subhanahu wa ta'ala the giver of life and death the provider of our sustenance the sustainer of our affairs the most perseverance azza wa jal the all hearing the all seeing so it's part of allah azza wa jal that he is the magnet of worship and the only one worthy of being worshipped and praised. And he loves to be praised because this is Allah Azza wa Jal. He's the only one worthy of that. So what is strange in that? It is strange when I, as a human being, like people to praise me and demand this from them. Who am I? Nothing. I'm a human being. I'm full of flaws and shortcomings. So even if you praise me, there are always things to be criticized about me because I'm not perfect. Allah Azza wa Jal is unlike anything. He is the perfect being, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he is the only one worthy of being praised. And entertaining such thoughts and doubts, unfortunately, Fahim is an indication of lack of Iman because sometimes we do get random intrusive thoughts a true Muslim blocks them does not entertain them as when you get random filthy thoughts about your in-laws or about your siblings or about your mother what do you do do you go to a psychiatrist and, and talk to him or to a therapist or you simply shut it down and block it because it's unacceptable. Allah has the highest example. If you knew Allah Azza wa Jal, you would never ever entertain such thoughts or allow your tongue to move to ask about it. May Allah Azza wa Jal guide us to the straight path.